Good morning. Craig with Reflections Exterior Services out of Salisbury, Maryland. Uh, we're here in Seaford, Delaware doing a roof wash. And I just wanted to discuss really quick uh, options that you can do for collecting runoff. Um, as we know in this industry, uh, you've got to do due diligence to either channel runoff away or figure out a way to collect it uh, so that you don't run into any issues with landscaping. And so, uh, uniquely enough, this house that I'm at here in Seaford, Delaware, uh, they have a variety of different um, of situations. There's some areas where there is, uh, let me just shoot that for you, um, a lot of little plants here that are delicate and some of the guttering you know the ends are are kind of off and just dumping out right into uh, the flower bed others are kind of centrally located and so there's a variety of different ways you can approach this um, as you can see over here what we did i just went ahead and took that elbow off and went ahead and did a six mil uh six inch plastic uh and basically just cut that and as you can see i zip tied it nice and tight to the guttering so it's not going to come off with with any volume and basically just channeled that away so that any runoff is going to bypass that so that's one option the second option is having a drop stick uh, you can get these at lowe's or home depot basically it just hooks into a garden hose and as you can see puts out a nice fan spray you can drop that right in your gutter and what i'm doing is just basically flushing this whole area with water so i'll let that run it's going to flood this area um, any runoff that comes into that is going to be highly diluted so that's another option and then kind of old school option here but still effective again depending on the guttering this gutter was already kind of in bad shape and was just kind of dumping out right here uh with you know to channel that out might be a little difficult just because the slope would actually make it kind of backflow so i just put a five gallon bucket underneath of that and as that fills i'm just going to go ahead and and put it over there in the in the gravel and we're gonna use the same process over here. I'm just gonna put that drop stick uh, water uh, feed pole right in that and, and flood that whole area. So just thought it was somewhat unique that I'm gonna implement all three of these, but it illustrates different ways that you can collect your runoff. And, uh, you know, again, make sure that you do due diligence to, uh, to collect all of that. So that's just one way that we, uh, we try to implement uh, precautionary measures to uh, to make sure that everything stays alive. So, again, Craig with Reflections Exterior Services out of Salisbury, Maryland. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.